Here we will see master directive in ASP.NET. The master directive is quite similar to the page directive. The only difference is that master directive is for master pages. Master pages are defined in files with the dot master extension. Using master directive, you can define the template page property. Then the content page can inherit all the properties defined in the master page. But there are some properties that are only available in master page. You can include only one master directive per master page. General syntax for defining master directive is First specify master, then attribute and its value. Now we will see attributes of master directives. Auto event wire up specifies the page event should auto wired or not. Class name specifies the class name that will be dynamically compiled when the page is requested. Code file option specifies the code behind class for the current page. Compiler option specifies compilation options for current page. Debug option specifies the page should be compiled with the debug symbols. Description option specifies a text description of the master page. Language option specifies language being used when compiling inline code blocks. Inherit specifies the base class for the page to inherit. SRC specifies the source file that contains the implementation of the base class specified with inherits. Master page file specifies the master page for current page. Enable view state specifies whether the page view state is maintained across page request. Enable theming specifies the page will support themes for embedded controls. Title specifies the title of the page. Response encoding specifies the character encoding of the page. Example for defining master page directive is master, then language, which is C sharp, then auto event wire up is false. Code file will be master page one dot master dot cs. Since we are using the language C sharp. Inherits master page. 